Welcome to this informational video about mathematics at IB higher level. We hope you find this video useful and gives you an idea of what to expect from the course. At Mathematics HL there are actually two courses students can choose from. Mathematics Applications and Interpretation involves using mathematics to describe or analyze practical problems in our world. This could involve mathematical modeling of phenomena or rigorous statistical analyses. Students who take this course will be those who enjoy mathematics best when seen in a practical context. Mathematics analysis and approaches is the more classic algebraic mathematics that students have been exposed to. This course involves constructing mathematical arguments and developing strong mathematical thinking skills. The problems that students will face are both real and abstract. These students will enjoy the thrill of mathematical problem solving and generalization. To help you understand the differences between the two courses a little bit better, here is an outline of what will be studied. Both courses will cover algebra, functions, geometry and trigonometry, statistics and probability, and calculus to an advanced level. The applications and interpretations course stretches geometry and statistics further by studying matrices and rigorous statistical analyses. The analysis and approaches course stretches functions and calculus further by studying graphs in more detail and rigorous principles of calculus. Choosing the right course will depend on your future university and career choices. Applications and interpretation is better suited for students of social sciences, natural sciences, medicine, statistics, business, some economics courses, psychology and design, and those with an interest in the applications of mathematics. Analysis and approaches is better suited for those students who want an emphasis on calculus appropriate for pure mathematicians, engineers, scientists, economists, and those with an interest in analytical methods. Please be careful. Different universities will have different entry requirements depending on your subject. It is important that you consider this when choosing the right course for you. On the next two slides of the PowerPoint, you can find the detailed outlines for each course. I would recommend reading through them so that you get a further feel for the differences between the applications course and the analysis course. Mathematics HL is challenging. You will be exposed to a level of mathematics far beyond anything you have ever experienced. For that reason, we do have entry requirements. For both HL courses, you need at least a GCSE grade 8 or equivalent in order to be considered. You will be assessed by the IB in two ways. First, you will have three examination papers at the end of the course worth 80% of your final grade. Second, you will have an internal assessment which is worth 20%. An internal assessment is an essay you will write on an area of mathematics that you will explore. You will of course be assessed regularly at WSO. We'll be looking at the ways that you engage in your lessons. You will have weekly assignments based on exam style questions. You'll get feedback forms based on the results of those assignments. And finally, you will have termly assessments. All of these will help us get a picture of how you are doing as you prepare for the final examinations at the end of year 13. The way we learn is underpinned by the IB Learner Profile. In lessons, we look for our students to become inquirers, knowledgeable and good communicators. Through the assignments and feedback forms, we also look for students to become knowledgeable, thinkers, reflective and good risk takers. Finally, through all, everything we do within the school, our students should become principled, open-minded, and caring. Finally, and most importantly, students at HL will develop a genuine enjoyment of mathematics. We will encourage students to explore around the course. There are a wide variety of videos, problem-solving websites, competitions, and books that will allow students to develop a richer view of mathematics. We think that mathematics is fun, and we hope by the end of this course you will enjoy mathematics the same way we do.